Prince Andrew caused the Queen Mother's face to turn white with rage as she scolded him, in one evening you have destroyed the reputation of the monarch. In royal author Ross Benson's book Charles, The Untold Story, he writes that Andrew had taken part in a 1986 television fiasco called, It's a Royal Knockout. The author claims the Queen Mother was incensed by the program and afterwards summoned Andrew to see her. She made him promise to never take part in anything like that again as it reduced the royals to the ranks of second-rate comedians. The author states, the Queen Mother's face was white with rage and she reminded her grandchild of the abdication and the danger that had posed to the monarchy. She told Andrew, the King, George VI, and I spent years building up the reputation of the monarchy and you, in one evening have destroyed the monarchy's reputation. The author claims that Diana was very angry with Charles who would not allow her to attend the same television show. But, after the fallout from the embarrassment of the show became evident, Diana was smug about the fact she didn't attend. Recently, the Queen, Elizabeth II and Andrew smiled as they drove through the estate, two days after new claims about the Duke of York and billionaire friend Jeffrey Epstein emerged. Court papers alleged the Duke had been embroiled in certain allegations against his conduct with a young woman. Epstein, was found dead in his police cell yesterday. A coroner had performed an autopsy on Mr. Epstein but is awaiting further information. An aide last night said Andrew and Sarah Ferguson were currently taking refuge at Balmoral after facing some grim times. The Duke and Duchess of York arrived at Balmoral separately, with Sarah also staying in a separate lodge away from the rest of the royal family. Their eldest daughter Princess Beatrice is also at the estate. She was seen in the same car as the Queen and her father on the way to attend church.